The last team we look at on the NBA math trade deadline primer is the San Antonio Spurs, a sterling organization that's notoriously quiet at the deadline. Last season's injury to Kawhi Leonard and subsequent injuries that have followed have really hampered the Spurs' chase for a Western Conference crown. Questions are swirling about when their MVP candidate Kawhi Leonard will return from injury and how that might affect the Spurs at the trade deadline. In typical Spurs fashion though, Popovich has rallied the group and they've been able to sustain decent success without Leonard. They've done so mainly on the shoulders of a revitalized LaMarcus Aldridge. San Antonio is playing through him in the post and letting him be more of the type of player he was in Portland than his first two seasons with the Spurs. The team has also seen a great deal of improvement from second year point guard DeJounte Murray. From a purely financial standpoint, the Spurs are hard capped this year, which means they cannot exceed the tax apron amount, which they are currently $9 million beneath. Their biggest long-term decision seems to revolve around Kyle Anderson, a restricted free agent who's getting plenty of run while Leonard is injured. It's a catch-22 for the Spurs, as the better Anderson plays and helps the team win this season, the more difficult it will be to keep him around in subsequent years. Anderson boasts a unique inside-outside old man game that really only the Spurs are the type of team that utilizes well. If there's one player the Spurs want to sell high on, it's him. If there's another piece that the Spurs move this trade deadline, it's Joffrey Laverne, a big man who has shown some promise with San Antonio. He's an inside-outside physical big that is by no means a youngster, but he's also the type of player that one team could want in return for a veteran that helps the Spurs win now. San Antonio is always a team that's pretty quiet at the deadline, and with things in flux so much right now, it's likely that they are going to be again this season.